Yo, what's going on? We are back for another video, and today I'm doing my official 2021 NCAA tournament bracket. I am not a college basketball expert. I just like watching for fun here and there. I love the tournament, though, but I've been trying to keep up with some teams. Um, I You can already see what happened here. I got started a bit, but... um. <laughs> I, I've loved watching Oklahoma State this year and Cade Cunningham. They've had a really fun team. So that's the team I'm rooting for, to be honest with you. I like Cade Cunningham, and I want him in OKC next year, stay in Oklahoma. But, um, yeah, this is going to be my official bracket. Um, I don't know a lot about most of these teams, but I'm just going to go based off what I think and upsets here and there. So um, we're just going to start off with Gonzaga. I already have them moving on. Oklahoma and Missouri. Um. I'm going to try not to look at all the, the advanced stats for all these teams uh, just because the video takes super long and I'm not trying to have that. But um, I've seen Oklahoma play earlier in the year and I'm pretty sure they have like one really good player on their team. Um, I don't know who it is. I'm You know, I'm just going to go Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma has a decent chance. Uh, Creighton and UCSB. Creighton actually has a really nice squad and I think they are going to win this game. I've enjoyed watching them play like two games this season i mean i think that i think they'll have a good chance i always love these 5 12 matchups like the 12th seed always just has like so much like they they bring so much energy every time no matter the team and at first there's always a, there's always a 5 12 ups, upset but i don't have this one being the game yet uh virginia against ohio i have virginia winning this they've looked pretty solid all year um this matchup is going to be great Drake is a great team. Same with Wichita State. And then USC has Evan Mobley. So I think this is going to be a phenomenal. No matter who wins the Wichita State Drake game on Thursday, I think it's Thursday or Wednesday, maybe. Um, they're going to have a tough time playing against USC. But I think Evan Mobley is going to be too much for both these teams. Uh, Kansas. Uh, I don't think E Washington. Who? What? What team even is this? E Washington. Uh, I've I've never heard of them. Uh, their net rank, yeah, these this team's kind of ass. <laughs> uh, Oregon against VCU. Uh, what's these guys' record? Twenty and six in the Pac-12, nineteen and seven. Um, this is really a fifty-fifty shot. I kind of am leaning. You know what? I'm gonna go with VCU. Um, they have a good defense. It looks like sixty-four. Uh, yeah, I wanna go. I wanna go. Um, VCU here on a slight upset, and then Iowa against Grand Canyon. Um, Luca Garza plays for Iowa, and he's really he's a really dominant big man. So I think he's gonna just will his way through that entire team. Uh, Baylor has looked phenomenal all year. I don't think have they lost yet? Oh no, that's Gonzaga, right? I think that's Gonzaga that hasn't lost a year. Uh, North Carolina and Wisconsin. I know North Carolina has not been that good this year, and I'm pretty sure they've turned it up as as of lately. So they're probably on fire. I'm gonna go North Carolina. Like I said, I'm, I know nothing about most of these teams, to be honest with you. Um, I do know Villanova as a 5 seed against the 12 seeded Winthorpe or Winthrop. I don't know how you pronounce it. This team's 23 and 1. Villanova, they're 16 6, but they also are missing Con Gillespie, who is what, their best player, I'm pretty sure. Or um, Edwards. Uh, it's like Jeremiah Edwards or something like that. He, I know he's pretty good. Um, and then I actually, my brother went to school, was one of the players that went to Villanova, or that is going to Villanova now, uh, Eric Dixon, so, he's kind of, he's kind of, um, doesn't do much, but he's a big body, I've went through winning though, Villanova's without their good starting point guard, I don't, I don't think they're gonna win, Purdue against North Texas, I know nothing about North Texas, this team looks dog, <laughs> oh, they have a good defense though, this team looks, this team has a good defense, 61 points, yeah, I, you know what, Purdue, you might be in for a challenge, Mike. You might be in for a challenge. Texas Tech is a real... I, Texas Tech, I've watched a couple times this year. They're going to win this game. And Utah State's actually a really tough team, too. But I know Texas Tech, being a sixth seed, is pretty high for them. They're a very fundamentally sound basketball team, and they're going to be scared as a sixth seed. Uh, Arkansas against Colgate. I remember seeing Colgate in the tournament a couple years ago, I'm pretty sure. Wait, is Arkansas never played before? I don't, I don't know. Why does it say they're? Oh, and I, well, I, 
Don't ask me. I don't know enough about that. But they're a three seed for a reason, and I'm a big Arkansas because, yeah. Uh, Virginia Tech in Florida. I've watched Virginia Tech once, and they looked pretty solid this year. I have not watched anything about Florida at all. Um, I like this team is 4 now against top 25 teams. Who would they beat? They have beaten... Oh, I've heard about this guy, Keontae Johnson, and I'm pretty sure he's pretty good. Oh, he's also on the injury report. Oh, well, Virginia Tech, you're still winning. <laughs> and Ohio State, you are being Oral Roberts. Yeah, that's the top half of my bracket. Um, yeah, let's, let's move on to the bottom half, all right? Michigan, again, is a bunch of nobodies. Michigan's winning that. LSU is actually pretty solid. I just saw them playing Alabama. Of course, it was LSU, Bama, in college basketball, not in football but lsu look pretty solid and i think lsu is going to beat saint bana i mean, I, yeah, I don't know who you, i don't know who most of these like A atlantic 10 like what division is that i don't know enough about college sports I mean, yeah legit. colorado georgetown this is my second this is my second upset for 510 oh uh, 512 georgetown is nice i like how they're a coach i like watching george georgetown is one of those teams that i've been watching this past couple days and they've actually been fun to watch Florida State, um, you got the dub. I don't know anything about this. NCGRN. Uh, these guys are probably ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, the last ten games, they're eight and two. So I'm like, hey, you only got a little bit fire, but nah. This is gonna be this is gonna be another fun matchup. Um, Michigan State and UCLA are gonna be playing the 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 winner of that game is gonna be playing BYU. And BYU is kind of nice too. BYU looks nice. Michigan State started off the year so good, and they are three and one against the top one seeds. I forget they obviously they did they didn't beat Kentucky, but they've beaten Michigan, Illinois, and who's the other one? Baylor. They've beaten all three of those teams. So there's no reason why, um, what's it called? Michigan State should lose. I th I'm gonna go with the underdog here. I think Michigan State's gonna beat UCLA, and then. Michigan State's also going to be BYU. Uh, Texas is a really good team. I just watched them beat up on Oklahoma State a couple days ago and win the whole John. I think Texas is going to win that against Albany Christian, is it? Probably. They're 23 and 4, though. Hey, that's a good defensive rating. Hey, all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the strength of schedule is 318th compared to 9th. That's kind of fun. Uh, Connecticut. This is UConn. It definitely is UConn against Maryland. I don't know how these teams play. These got UConn's ass against top twenty-five teams. So, for that reason and that reason only, we're going Maryland and then Alabama. Uh, they just won their conference, so they got to be good. They're two seed for a reason. I what even? What's their record? Only they're in six. Okay. One and three again. Yeah, this team, they they don't have any competition. They play in the MAAC. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, Illinois against Drexel. Uh, Drexel's in it. Where's their record? Twelve and seven. They're four and five. Bro, you're about to lose by forty. Uh, loyal, lo loyal, loyal, loyal. Chicago. We gotta, we got we gotta run this back. You know what I'm saying? Loyal went off a couple years ago. They're doing it again. Not only to an extent, because I'm gonna have, you know what I mean. Um. Ten Tennessee against Oregon State. This is gonna be another fun matchup. Oregon State won. I saw a, a bet a guy won one hundred fifty thousand dollars because he bet on Oregon State winning the Pac twelve and they did. But um, all that just to lose to Tennessee. Honestly. Oklahoma State, bro. These are my guys: Cade Cunningham, Caleb Boone, Avery Anderson. You know what I'm saying? I like this team a lot. They they are a high four. They should definitely be a two or three seed at the worst, at the best. Like I don't think they should be a four seed, but either way, they're gonna get their job. They're gonna get the job done against Oregon. You know what I'm saying? San Diego State. I think I watched them play earlier in the year. What's that? They have some kid on their team's name. Uh, it's not this guy. I don't know who it is, but they were a fun team. They're a fun team to watch, and I'm gonna go with them over Syracuse, West Virginia. They're a well coached team. They're they're really fundamentally sound. Also, they're gonna beat Moorhead. If you're if you go to Moorhead State, you know your ass. Like, like, look at these dudes. They're a bunch of scrubs. Um, I, this is the I know nothing about most of these teams. It's just funny to make. Uh, Clemson against Rutgers. Rutgers has always had like mid Big Ten. Like it's always just been whatever. Clemson. I didn't know that they were good at basketball. 
Um, I thought they were a football school. Um, hmm. Alexa, flip a coin. If it's heads, it's Rutgers. It's tail, so it's Clemson. And Houston against is that Cleveland State. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. All right, so that's the round of 64. Let's go back up to the round of 32 now. And Gonzaga, you're going to beat up on Oklahoma. I'm not going to go as in-depth with these picks now that we're like kind of talked about pretty much every team, kind of, even though I don't know much about every Whatever, yeah, you get the point. Creighton, Virginia. I got my guys in Creighton, you know what I'm saying? Beat up on Virginia, yeah. Uh, and then I got my guys. Evan Mobley's going to go off, future Thunder player right there, as well as Cade Cunningham. They're both going to somehow end up on OKC. I can predict the future. I can. And then Iowa, Luka Garza is going to destroy VCU. I don't know who VCU has, but they just are going to. Yeah, look at this. They got their, oh, wait, those are two guards. Kayshawn Curry. Or is that, is he related to Steph? I think he's related to Steph, maybe? No, I doubt it. But look at look at these stats, bro. That's tough. Luka Garza is nice, bro. And then Baylor's going to beat up on UNC. They shouldn't even be in the tournament, to be honest with you. They're kind of booty. And then um, <laughs> Winthorpe. Sorry, you're 12 seed for a reason. You can't beat Purdue. Uh, Texas Tech, I have. Texas Tech, I have. I like this team a lot. And I also have Ohio State. I think Texas Tech is tough, bro. I like watching Texas Tech. They were so they were fun. They were a fun team to watch. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, we'll just we'll stay up here. Uh, Gonzaga's gonna beat Creighton. They're the team that's like 22 and 26 and other 26 and all. Damn, I knew they were undefeated. I didn't know. <laughs> My gosh, their points a game is 92. That's tough. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, they have Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs is so tough, too, bro. Jalen Suggs drops dimes on the court. Um, USC against Iowa. Nah, I almost want Kansas to win against... Yeah, I kind of want Kansas. I think Kansas is going to be better. I think Kansas being Iowa. Sorry, I have Mobley. <laughs> uh, Baylor, Purdue. Baylor's win that. And then Texas Tech. Texas Tech against Baylor. And then we're going to say this is going to be the Elite Eight matchup. I think Gonzaga is going to win. And I, I, I hate putting all one seeds up top. But you know what? It's going to be Gonzaga Baylor going to the Final Four. We got to move down here. Michigan LSU. This is, gonna, this is actually going to be a fun matchup. Um, Damn, who do I think would win this? I really don't know. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Why not? You know what? Why not? Um, Florida State, you're gonna win that, and then you're gonna win that too. LSU, bye bye. You beat Michigan State, but you can't beat Florida State or Michigan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who did I pick? Oh, Michigan State. Nah, Texas is winning that, and Alabama is gonna win that. But Texas, you know what I'm saying? Texas, Texas. Yeah, Texas is a good team. Texas is a good team. Maybe in Florida State, they're going all the way. Houston, I got that. West Virginia's winning there. Oklahoma State, yeah, yeah. And then West Virginia, and they going to the Final Four. Oklahoma State's going to the Final Four. You know what I'm saying? They could beat Illinois. I know they can. I know, I know for a fact they will. I know for a fact they will. So now we got our Final Four. We got Baylor, Oklahoma State, Gonzaga, Texas. <laughs> Call me a fool. <laughs> Call me a fool. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. You're not ready. You're ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Cade Cunningham is going to go off. Cade Cunningham is going to go off. This is going to be the revenge game, bro. This is going to be the revenge game, bro. I, I, I like this. The Big 12 Championship rematch, but on like the. The highest stage, man. Oh, man. This is going to be such a tough game. Final score. Oh, total comma. What does this mean? Okay, so, is it like 90 to like... Oh, yeah. that's All right. All right. I think it's going to be... Hmm. 65 to 63. Oklahoma State's going to win. That's my that's my prediction. You know what I'm saying? I like Cade Cunningham. I lie. He's so tough, bro. I want the lottery gods to bless us. And I want him in OKC playing with Shea next season and Lou Dort and Darius. But I got my guys in Oklahoma State winning. That's tough. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down below. And let me know who you think is going to win it. This is who I think is going to win it. It's a very, very bad 
it's a terrible bracket. I know it is. I'm not good at this stuff, but you know what I'm saying? I th yeah, these, these are my predictions. So you know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'm out. Bye.